Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good. Hello, how are you? Very good. Excellent. Well. How was your weekend, guys? So. What do you do? I am sick. Really? Oh, I'm sorry to yes. hear that. So take your medicine, please, and follow your doctor's recommendation, okay? Today, I, I, I feel well. During the weekend? Terrible. During the, during, terrible, yes. I, I am forever. Oh, really? I, I am forever, yes. Oh, my God. Uh, today, he's a, he's a well. He's a well. Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm happy that you feel much better and I hope that you can get completely better soon. Okay. And the rest of you guys, how was your weekend? What do you do? Anything interesting during the weekend? Uh-huh. Anyone? What do you do? Sleep? Work? Uh-huh. No, in my case, I rest a lot. Uh, I spend a lot of time taking naps and, <laughs> well, and wake up so late in the morning. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, guys, if you can rest, do it. I know that every single day you have to wake up early. So come Not on. Not to bed so late. Exactly. So yeah, if you can rest, do it. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Very good. So, and the rest of you guys, tell me, what do you do during the weekend? Practice English, right? Work on the platform. Uh huh. Anything else? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How was your week? Uh, my uh, weekend was easy. I stand high in, in my house with my family. Uh, also, I worked a uh, little time in the platform. Good. But, but the sharp there was difficult, some exercise for me, teacher. I know that, yeah, I know, guys, there are some exercises that are uh, kind of confusing, especially, and this is what I always mention, right? Especially because remember that the platform has a very specific answer. And if your answer doesn't match with the ones that appears in the platform, the answer will be incorrect. Um, that's why I always suggest you that if you have some issues with the exercises, uh, take a screenshot and send it to me and we can verify the answer here in the class in order that you can get the point, okay? Because again, I know that there are some exercises that can be confusing or maybe your answers are correct, but remember that the platform, only one point makes the difference, right? So please always take a screenshot and send it so I can help you with that. But I'm glad that you're working. That's great. Anyone else? How was your weekend, guys? What do you do? Teacher, uh, excuse me, I, I understand very well. Uh, we can send you a message in, in this class. I mean, the you, screenshot. The screenshot. Ah, the screenshot, okay. Yes, okay. of the exercise. Okay. Um, I suggest guys to send the screenshot in the group just in case that I cannot answer it immediately, your classmate can help. Or because sometimes, um, for example, imagine that Osman has some doubt about one exercise. Maybe uh, Kevin and Carlos have the same answer, I mean, the same question, the same exercise. So it's better if we send it in the group, right? Because there I can see that you have the same question, right? And we can answer and everybody gets the answer, 
automatically, okay? Um, or I can see the screenshot, and if I see that a lot of people have the same doubt, I will share with you the answers, but here in the class, okay? So take the screenshot uh, about the exercise that you may have doubt about it and send it on WhatsApp's group. Now, I will to share with you guys how the progress is going. I'm sharing right now the uh, platform. Can you see the platform, everyone? Yes, I can. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so <laughs> remember, guys, we are working in the unit number two, all right? At this point, the unit number two must be done, all right? And I can see Amanda, Lorena, very good score in the unit number two. Remember that the minimum score, guys, is 80, all right? Um, Carlos Ernesto, Carlos Mauricio, so far so good. Um, let's see, Edwin Antonio, very good. Eulice Torres, very good, very good. Uh, Jose Salvador, 93. Josman Atilio, 91. So far so good, very good, guys. I have Nelson with 96, very good. And over here, I have Ricardo Ernesto and Cifrido with 100%. Good. Wilbur, 95. Pretty good. Excellent. So I can see, guys, very good progress in some of you. There are some people with a little lower score. So please, let's work. Okay, let's continue working. I can see some people with zero progress. Mm, I don't like to say the names, right? But guys, there are some people that they haven't even started the unit number one. I recommend you guys to start working, please. Because um, imagine the idea of the platform is that you can practice it, okay? I don't want you guys to do it just at the end, like very, very fast. No, don't leave it. Don't wait until the last time. Don't wait until the last minute, please. Now, remember that in the unit number two, we have the midterm. Everyone, at this point, you must, uh, you must finish the uh, midterm. And look at this one. Very few people have taken the exam, okay? So I have Amanda and Lorena. They took the exam, very good, very, very good score. But look at this. I have a lot of people that they haven't taken the exam, okay? Um, Eulise took the exam, 95, very good. Salvador, 95, good. Kevin Alexander, um, you can try to do it again if you want in order that you can get at least the 80% because that's the minimum score. Then I have Nelson, he took the exam too. And over here, let me see. Hmm, the midterm, look, a lot of people, they haven't done it, but then I have Ricardo, very good. And Cifrido with 95 and Wilbur with 95 too. Perfect. Okay, so guys, by this point, again, you need to, and the midterm has to be done, okay? But not everybody have finished it. So please, let's work. There are some people that they even started the unit number three. So that's great, guys. Um, if you can advance, I mean, do it. Remember that the platform is available, guys, the 24 hours, the seven days of the week. You know that is difficult because of the time, right? But please, at least 10 minutes every day, okay? Um, please, again, don't leave it at the last minute, okay? Remember that the platform is not optional, it's an obligation, so you have to finish it, all right? Now, do you have any questions, everyone, about the platform? Any doubts? No? 
Okay. So please, when you find an exercise that you don't understand, you don't know what the answer is, take a screenshot, send it in the group, and we are going to try to resolve it together. Got it? Yes, please. Excellent. Okay, let's start then. Do you remember the topic that we studied <laughs> last week? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness let's have an exam uh, so you can remember anyone do you remember what were we talking about uh, last class no uh, 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 <laughs> extra point for the one who get it <laughs> but without without looking at your notebooks, just with your mind. Tips for buying. Tips for buying. Okay. Everybody, and you? Do you agree with her? Uh, we practiced some uh, vocabulary. We practiced some vocabulary about what? Um, why we um, uh, return return the products? Ah, very good. So, if you remember, yes, we were providing some tips tips about returned and policies related to mm -hmm, refunds. All right, refunds and guaranteed. So that is basically what we were talking about. So try to review at least, guys, a little bit the vocabulary, okay? So you don't forget it, please. Now we are going to start the topic that we have for today. Let me start sharing the presentation. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay, everybody, today is August 28th. Basically, we are, imagine guys, almost finishing August. Wow, time flies, definitely. So this is the topic uh, that we are going to study today. Describe and identify theft when online shopping, okay? But as I always said, we can... um. Analyze this topic, not only from the online shopping point of view, we can also think about when we shop naturally in the store, okay? So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. At the end, of the class participants will learn vocabulary related to identity, depth, and will develop their own ideas on how to deal with them. Very good. Thank you, Boris. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Okay, we are going to check some vocabulary uh, related to theft. And we are going to identify and develop some ideas, okay? Some tips about how to prevent or how to deal with that situation. What the, but, meaning, what the uh -huh. meaning of death? Ah, the meaning of death. Theft. Okay. Death is an action when you take something that is not yours. Mm -hmm. So what is the translation, everyone? When you take something that is not yours. Robo. Exactly. That is the meaning of theft. Theft, guys, this is the action. Okay? So, the person who performs the action is a? Thief. Exactly. So, theft is the noun for the action. Thief is the person who performs 
the action. Understood? Yes? Yes, yes. Perfect. All right, so basically that is what we are going to be talking about. But before to start, let's start this class, everybody, as always, talking. Um, it's Monday, so I want you guys to talk, to speak. Let's start practicing speaking in this class. I have prepared some questions and I want you to discuss these questions with your classmates. The first question is, do you know guys what is identity theft? Have you ever heard about it? Yes. What is it? Uh, when someone mm, uh, thefts your personal data, um, maybe your credit card or your your ID information to uh, to do do things like like it, it is it is you right like uh moving your money from your bank account if if they um if they thieved the passwords or or the usernames of the bank okay do you agree everyone yes agree. yes agree cool now be careful with this word again theft is a noun to describe the action as your classmate said what is the translation for theft Robert. Mm, it's not a verb, it's a noun. Robo. Ladro. Exactly. Mm, robo. Okay. So, for example, I can say there was a test mm -hmm. in my city. Okay. So, this is a noun. It is not the verb. Okay. Then we have the word thief. Thief also is a noun, but this refers to the person who performs the action. I can say, for example, the police. Um, what can we say about the police? The police Cut. chased or caught uh -huh, the thief yesterday and they took him to the jail. So thief is the person who performs the action. So I have a now and now. So what do you think? Which one is the verb? How can I say that, but in the verb? What will be the verb? Chased. You. <laughs> okay. <Steal. laughs> Steal is one. Actually, guys, in English, and I want to share this with you. Uh, let me open up the dictionary because this is um, kind of difficult vocabulary in English. Depending on the situation, for us in Spanish, robar es robar, right? It doesn't matter the context. Is It doesn't matter what kind of situation is it but in english it's a little bit different okay if you go to the dictionary look how many words do we have for the word roba look at this we have different verbs one of the most common is steal okay that is the most common one so if you want to say robar we say Steal. Look, the thief stole my shoes. Thief is the person. Stole is the verb. Okay? We can use the verb take. All right? A thief took my wallet, for example. A lift. We can use lift something. Okay? Look. The thief lifted my wallet. So what I'm trying to say is we have different 
words to say the same, robar, okay? And look, we have this one, thieve. If you see, thieve also is robar. I'm sharing this one because it's similar to the words that we are starting, that is thief and theft, all right? So I'm explaining this, guys, in order that you don't get confused. So go back into the question. Imagine that I want to say, mm, let's see, let's see, vi a un ladrón. How can I say that? ¿Cuál palabra voy a usar? Vi a un ladrón. So let's write the words. I have this. And I have this. So I have test, teeth, and teeth. So be a un ladron. Teeth. Ah, very good. So I will use teeth. Now, um, I want to say, uh, let's see, hubo un robo. Which one? Uh, What's the test? Very it's good. Team. It was a test. Okay. And at the end, if you want to say the verb, is this one. Okay. Or you can use the verb steal in past stole. That is one of the most common. Okay. Pretty good. Now we are going to practice some questions, everyone. I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group. And I wanted to discuss these questions with your classmates. Few questions, only five questions, guys. So you can take five minutes to answer this one. But the idea is to everybody participate. Okay, sometimes, guys, I can see some people don't enter to the breakup room, so mm -mm, that's not the attitude, okay? Um, let me open up the groups. Oh, but wait, before going to the breakup rooms, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Amanda Leonela Zamora. Present teacher. Very good, thank you. Ana Lorena Lovato. Okay, Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Okay, I think he's listener. Okay, Carlos Mauricio Menjivar. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay, Eulice Torres Torres, well, he's listener, okay. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present, teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Okay. Um, Kevin Alexander Perez. Teacher. Okay. Present. All right, thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Josman. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Okay. Mm, Maria Jose Siguenza. Okay, very good. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Okay, thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Listener. All right. Um, Cifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Perez. Right, and Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Very good. 
Okay, everyone, I already sent the questions on WhatsApp groups. Again, let's go to the breakup rooms only for five minutes. Please, everybody, enter to the breakup rooms, okay? And I want to everybody try to discuss these questions. I want to hear you guys giving your opinions. I know that there are some listeners. So if you are in a group where your classmates are not talking, just let me know and I will switch you to another team. Okay, let's go to practice. Go. The first question, what is identity thief? The, the identity thief is, is when other person uh, theft the, the, the day personal. Uh, for example, a uh, number, uh, number of credit card. Yes, a uh, number of credit card, number. Okay. Uh, other is uh, the role the the email. Okay. Wilbur, what do you think? I agree. <laughs> Sorry? What I, said? I agree with him. Mm. Okay. Uh, I, I think uh, ident identity thief is when other person took uh, take, take or information personal information mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, for use using uh, another activities yes to buy <laughs> they use your information to buy for free <laughs> yes yes uh, to buy for free <laughs> yes and uh, Oscar well uh, I think identity theft is when someone is pretending to be another one. In online, it's not that common to see, but mm -hmm. I have seen this before, but with girls. I think it's more regular to see uh, when someone is pretending to, pretending to be an, a girl. I have seen this with a few friends that maybe you see a profile with that says i don't know elizabeth and they start and they start um publishing um publishing stories uh, saying that that they are not i i don't know how to figure this thing i have seen this with a few friends that they post histories with fake profiles pretending being her being her and i think this is for i i think this is regular for for selling like a uh, new new pictures or feed pictures and it's a regular uh, business in in the in that area i i don't know what do you think about that? <laughs> Wilbur said that happening with the ex is kosher. Okay. I don't know. I don't uh, I don't like to see um news on TV or any page because I only see murder 
death people, accidents. So need I to don't want to, uh, to hear something or, or you sense it, something it. out of that. But it's possible. I don't know. Uh, if you want, we can pass to the second question. How okay. common is the identity thief in our country? I think it's not that regular. Yeah, yes, but I it happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe in other, or in other country like the United States and uh, big countries, right? But here just happened to me and they uh, maybe clone it, clone my credit card, but uh, it's a different situation and identity thief. Okay, what do you Can think, I, Osman? I... I have an opinion. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, I, I agree with you uh, about about it's not very common in our country. But uh, uh, when, when I go to buy in a restaurant or a store, uh, having seen uh, when I give my my credit my card, credit card, my, my credit mm -hmm. card uh, the seller don't don't no me pide. Don't ask me. Don't ask. Don't don't ask me. The the do it. Ask me. Me. Ask, ask me. Ask me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't ask me. Uh, do it. The do it. ID. Oh, oh, my, my, oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. ID. Oh, oh, only take me. Only take <laughs> take it. Only take the card. Uh, mm -hmm. When when happened that I I I I I think. Uh, uh, it's easy, easily other people uh, can use my credit card. Copy the information. Yes, but uh, the seller. I I didn't think about it, but that's true. That maybe can be an an identity identity theft. Maybe. And, yes, and and one of my friends. Um, happened this type of of situation too. So maybe maybe that's a, a one type of yeah. of identity theft, and maybe here in our con in the country it happens with mm. I don't know. Maybe with well, the I remember one time in my in my job like uh. Uh, someone is still like the I don't know how to say it, the sign, like the sello. Oh, uh -huh. yes. one of my yeah sign issue. One of my boss, a uh, sign issue. I don't know, but um, oh. he, she is told uh the senator or the the, oh the the sign, and sign. Um, other other things. Yeah, and sign sign other things and send it and send sent it to the uh -huh. bank oh my god <laughs> yeah that was like a... <laughs> yes yes it, it's a, an identity theft yes so i know mm -hmm. maybe it's it's common it's more common that we think yes i know okay, okay. so the third one and i don't know but i hear carlos or jose I don't know who is there. I think it's Carlos. So I don't know, Carlos, if you want to participate. Yes, I, okay. I, 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 I have listened the conversation. Okay, the question number three. And for me, and for me, the problem is uh, this, the quest, the second question is uh, the. The link is a no security or oh, I don't know update I don't know update the the pin or the password in a different platform or or bank uh, the credit card. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because we because um now we, we use a lot of of links and all these these uh, things by social media and maybe that's an easier way to to do this this type of 
of depth. So that, that that's a, a problem there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we we can we can pass to the third uh -huh. question. Yes. So do you know how to keep your person? I when when I bought something something online in a site that I'm not really secure that it's it's um it's good. I put my credit card, use it, and then delete it so they don't have my data it's still there. <laughs> it's complicated because they, all of the platform needs this data about your mm. car, and then you can. You need to to check uh, the reputation. I don't know if it's correct of the mm -hmm. website, the app to put the all of your data. Yes, you have to be sure that the the website or the platform is are secure. Is, yes, it's secure. Yeah. Um, have you ever shared your credit cards pin with anyone? I will say yes. 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 With yeah. my family. <laughs> but uh, with my person... coworkers. What? Really? With my coworkers. Yes, because... Of trust for yes. me. <laughs> yeah. And, me I, too. and I write it and I write it in a little paste a piece of paper and paste mm -hmm. uh, on the credit card. Or in oh, the debit card. Come Your on. workers are, are people really, really um honest and and good because they can um make a clone on your card and have your pin and they will uh, take all your money when when you get paid all the months. <laughs> as a favor, uh, oh. I usually ask uh, the favor. But you didn't, didn't change the pin after you left, <laughs> left, left after, the number. No, no, no. I have the same pin. Wow. Like, I don't know if I have trust issues or she is um, like um, a, a good lucky woman. Much. <laughs> a very good lucky. No, I I never had problems with that. Yeah. And I trust in the people. Well, that's good. But not, I don't know. But it, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. And what um, would you do if your credit card information is stolen while pushing, purchasing online? I will report it to, to the bank. Yeah. Because I had an, an, an insurance, I think is who is called. An yeah. insurance that if um, I report the the unrecognized uh, purchase, I will get a refund. I don't know how how many times, but uh, I will get a refund. I I never try, I never use it, but uh, I I I'm still don't want to use it. Please, please God, <laughs> I don't want to to go to that situation. But uh, it's supposed that I have an assurance. I think many of of the credit cards offers that that service yes uh, one time the bank called me to ask me if i was uh, making a purchase from a, a, a website and i was sleeping and i get scared because i was sleeping and i didn't <laughs> yeah Yes, my coworker. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Beers, beers. No. <laughs> no, but I have a story. A, 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 a coworker asked me a favor to buy a, a, a piece of a repuesto. I don't know how to say it. Uh, uh, Perfect. Refaction, a, a, a car refaction, and 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 I use his credit card, and then I I save that date on the website, and after uh, three or four months, I make a purchase. I I buy a projector, 
because it was in a in a sale. It was in a sale, and then I was uh, happy because I pushed that projector, uh, but never got the the message, uh, the confirmation the confirmation message in my uh, email. But I, I thought that that everything was okay, and the about three or four days after that, uh, I was talking with my co-worker and they uh, told me, and hey, look, uh, somebody was trying to, to stole me. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> and you, oops. <laughs> and, and then, yes, because somebody charged me uh, $75, $75, <laughs> and, then, and then what? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> And and I was uh, ashamed because I didn't want to do that. Uh, it was a mistake because I didn't uh, check the the credit card that I was using to pay. Yeah, that happens uh, with me in uh, in Hugo 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 when you buy food. Uh -huh. uh, a few days before that, a friend asked me if he can use uh, my account of Hugo and he bought something. I don't, I didn't know what, but um, I don't remember. <laughs> and uh, uh, a few days after that, I used the credit card and uh, that uh, that account and bought me food. And I, I was like, mm, why the bank didn't send me a message uh -huh. of the, the of confirmation? The don't connect to a stranger Wi-Fi, said Wilbur. That is another way to, to keep your personal information safe. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Wilbur. I was, I was saying, uh, it's easy to know the Oscar spin because you can search. And For them in Facebook, Instagram. And, and YouTube. In the classes on YouTube, and the teacher asked him, "What is what is his birthday?" No, uh -huh. so you know, uh -huh. <laughs> the whole people knows that. <laughs> right. Okay. The last question: uh, What would you do if your credit card information is stolen while purchasing online? I think right. Uh, this is we had to call the the bank mm -hmm. uh, for alert uh, about the inconvenience but uh, they can cancel cancel the, the 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 cancel block the uh, or block or block the credit card exactly. or debit card mm -hmm. and you guys uh, in, in the bank credit Problematic is the I pay the the system notification for the a SMS. The, no, a notification for the uh -huh, okay the notification for I you I using the the card I I I buy the the fifty dollar uh, in immediate immediate immediately immediately mm -hmm. is notification. Mm -hmm. And uh, last last later later uh, I I buy other 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 thing is immediately notification the the transaction. I I I pay the system the P R F uh, uh, and. For for years, I paid the the thirty six dollar for notification for the years for the all the transaction transaction I I did I did yes mm -hmm. okay thank you you're welcome Osman. I'm sorry, classmate. Ah, uh, yes, I, I, I hear you. What what we have to do? And Oscar, sorry. 
Time's up, time's up. All right. We are going to wait for everybody to go back to the main room. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. All right. Let's go back, everybody. Okay, very good, very good. I like that some of you were very talkative. Very good. All right, let's wait for everybody. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Okay, time's up, let's go back. Could you answer all of the questions, everybody? Yes, we did. Exactly. Yes. Easy or difficult to answer the questions? Um, some of them may be difficult because we don't have a, a lot of experience in, in that situation. It may cool. get just happened to me just one time, but mm -hmm. maybe the rest, like Oscar, Oscar tell us, told us uh, uh, he don't have a credit or debit card. So it's a little bit impossible. They have that situation, but. Yeah. I know, that, I, mm -hmm. I know that some of you don't feel so identified with this situation, especially because remember, some of us, we have debit card, but some of us, we don't have maybe a credit card. Some of us can buy online, but some others prefer don't do it, right? But the idea is that always try to give your opinion. I like that in some groups, everybody were talking. Just a reminder, guys, remember that um, I know that there are very talkative people here, but I always want you guys to push your classmate to talk, okay? Um, I like when in some groups, they are asking, and you tell me, and your classmate is like, I don't know. No, come on, tell us. Let's share your answer. What do you think? And they are encouraging your classmate to participate. That's the attitude, and that's what I want, okay? So remember, as I always mention, we are a team. I was listening to very interesting details. Uh, now, guys, just... Let me share with you some of the sentences that I was listening. Uh, I was listening, sorry. For example, I remember in this phrase, one time. Hmm, can I say one time? Maybe once. once. Exactly. The correct word is once. Okay. This is the correct one, once. So I remember once, or, ah, you know what, guys, let me tell you. Once I was in the da 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 da, -da. okay? So um, how many times? If I'm talking about the time, can I say how many times? What do you think? How much? Ah, we are going to say oh. how much. How much time? Remember that many is for comfortable. Money. Exactly. In Sometimes time? We can, in in, in this time? case, it depends. Remember that time is in this context, your classmate were using time mm. as tiempo. But okay. if you are using the word times, estamos hablando de intentos, right? O um, ocasiones. In that case, this one is countable because I can say uh, three times a week, four times a week, ten times. Estamos hablando de cuántas veces. Entonces, ahí sí, we can say how many times for example i can say guys how many times um, 
do you take a shower during the day? Of course, this is not a very common question because normally the questions that we say is how often, okay? But if you are using times, yes, you can say many. But if you are talking about el tiempo, so time, in that case, you have to say much. And how long? Yes, but in this case, guys, how long? Actually, that is a very good question, but this is when we are talking about a period. A period of time, for example, how long have you studied English, for example? Mm -hmm. So it's a period of time. Yeah. You want to know the duration of an action. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, um, the seller don't ask. Mm, can I say that? He didn't ask. Does. Okay, if I'm talking in simple past, I can say didn't, right? But if I'm talking in present, can I say doesn't? Doesn't. doesn't. Ah, very good. Remember, in this case, it's third person, okay? The seller doesn't ask. Pretty good. All right. Now go back into the questions, everybody. Um, do you think it is common identity theft in our country? Yes. It is? Yes, and a good example was the Cuba wallet. Because you <laughs> only need your uh, DUI to create the account and to take out the $30. Could be, yes. And remember, guys, that I know that for us in El Salvador, we say DUI, right? That is the name, the proper name from that mm -hmm. ID. But we can say ID. Just think about it. If you go to the United States and you say, do I need my DUI? And they will say like, mm -hmm. what is that, right? So you can say, do I need my ID? And that is the word. How about you, everybody? Do you agree? Do you think that identity theft is something common in our country or not so much? What do you think? Yeah. Uh... Uh huh. I I I I saw the 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 identity theft in the common in the the face on the on the TikTok. Ah, that's another example. So look at this, guys. When we are talking about identity theft, I know that the first things that comes to our mind is when they sell our bank account ID or something like that. But not necessarily, as your classmate says. Imagine when some people stole or had stole some profiles. It's very common to listen to someone that said, ah, someone hacked my Facebook account. Someone stole my Instagram or TikTok account. That can happen. So we can say that it is pretty common. Now, do you know, guys, how to keep your personal information safe when you are shopping online? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay, give me examples. How do you well, keep your personal only information? Only using safe? the Wi-Fi. Only using what? Only using the Wi-Fi. Only uh, Wi-Fi. Wi so imagine if I go to, if I if I go to the airport, do you think that it's safe to connect to that a uh, free Wi-Fi? Mm, not because it's an open an open wireless um hmm. point. <laughs> yeah, imagine that I go to the mall. Sometimes in some malls they have an open Wi-Fi red. So should I connect from there? Hmm. <laughs> no <laughs> not really right they, they i mean the bank suggests that don't do it what else another thing that i can do guys in order to keep my information safe mm, not use the same password in all your online accounts ah, okay and what do you think guys if i use my birthday it's not a good is option is a good idea 
No. No. What about one, two, three, four, five? <laughs> mm, yeah. I think it will take like 10 seconds to the series <laughs> to find that password. <laughs> That's true. That's why some uh, websites suggest, right, to include capital letters, lowercase, numbers, and sometimes some uh, symbols, right? Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever shared, uh, you know, this question caught my attention. I was listening to so many stories in some breakup rooms, but have you ever shared your credit cards pin with anyone else? Yes. <laughs> Why? Mm, because yes. I need to to have money, but I don't have the time. So I send my family to get it. <laughs> so it was your family. Yes. Okay. And you guys? In my case, share the the my credit card pin. No. Never. Don't, never. I, I I but I share the 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 the, the password the 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 bank line line bank bank line. Ah, okay. So if you want to use your online bank account, so you use the password, so you share your password. Yes, yes. Ah. I, 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 that I is get, basically the same. <laughs> I, I always get, I, I, I write the, the, the notebook, ah. the, the password, I okay. share, I share it. <laughs> That's interesting. I, okay. I, uh, but did you always... share it? Did you share it with your family? Or it was a friend? Uh, no, it's uh the 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 characters is special and number. Ah, okay. All right. So guys, do you think that sharing your credit card spin is a good idea? No, not really but sometimes it's necessary okay sometimes it's necessary if it is someone you trust i think it's not private ah yeah that's a good point so imagine for example right uh, as your classmate said imagine that it's an emergency you need the money and you don't have the time to go for it you can trust your pin in someone but <laughs> It has to be someone that you truly trust, right? Interesting, very good. And the last question, what would you do if your credit card information is stolen while you're purchasing online? Call the bank. Call the, the, bank. Bank, the bank. Very good. Have you ever suffered, guys, this situation that suddenly you receive a notification that somebody else is using your credit card or that sometimes you receive a notification with a purchase that you never did? Yes. Really? Often, oh often because uh, my sister has the uh, secondary credit card of mine, so ah. and she never tell me that he's, he's <laughs> going to use it. <laughs> All right, but at least it's your sister, right? <laughs> and you guys, have you ever suffered this kind of situation to receive a notification about it? Some movements that you never did? Yes, once time it happened to me. Oh my God. Uh, I bought in, the, in some bar. I paid uh, for the service. Mm -hmm. And the next day uh, in the night, uh, I received uh, the first notification for one cent. One cent. <laughs> One cent. They were, they were trying. Okay. They, they, they was trying to know if the credit card Imagine. was available. Wow. And that's then appears other other uh, appears other um SMS uh, with fifteen dollars, and the other one a hundred dollars, and they uh use around to uh five hundred dollars on my credit card. And what do you do? And, uh, it happened a. Uh, in the night, uh, highest hours at night. So uh, I didn't like, feel um, the vibration of my cell phone. So 
I see it at, at the next day and I blow the credit card called to the existing uh, the customer system. And I have a guarantee in the credit card, so they help me later. And I have to wait maybe three months, but they resolve. Uh, oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. So in the end, you didn't lose your money. No, no. I, I recovered all, all the money. Excellent. But, that's they, good. <laughs> but they received all, all, all the things that they bought. Imagine. Yes. Wow. So, yeah, if you see, guys, that is kind of common, right? That can happen to everyone. So we have to be very careful. So that is basically what we are going to be talking about with it. Nice, guys. Thanks for talking. You are sharing your experiences. And as I always said, okay, in the class, I wanted to be or to feel free to talk. And this is for everybody. I can identify the ones who likes to participate and the ones that prefer like not to do it. But please try. I want you to feel free to speak, okay? Now let's check some vocabulary, but first we are going to have uh, some reading. Let's see about this scenario about Chris and Ricardo that they are talking about uh, important considerations to, prepare, uh, to prevent identity theft, okay? I need two volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Who's I mean? <laughs> Kevin? Okay, who else? Boris. Give me the name. Boris. Boris. All right, thank you. Okay, so let me uh, open it up. Remember, this information is in your manuals. Kevin, you will be Chris. Boris, you will be Ricardo. Go ahead. Okay. I have been reading a lot about identity thief theft online for a past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they planned to solve the, the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves on the, uh, uh, are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email, an email asking what sites I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted want to steal my personal information. Thank you, very good. So imagine these situations. According to this conversation, guys, what is identity theft? Uh-huh. They steal your information from your profile or for, from your online profile? Very good. Look at this one. There is an important word here, everybody. And is this one, thieves. So we already checked the meaning for theft. We say that is the noun. Thief is the person who performs yeah. the action. Thief is the verb. But now I have thieves with the letter S in the end. So what is that? Uh, plural. Is the plural of? Thief. Thief. Exactly. Thief is only one person. Thieves is the plural. Now, if you see in this conversation, what do you think, guys? Do we have reported speech in this dialogue? Yes. Uh-huh. Which ones? 
A financial specialist asks banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity theft. Very good. What else? Someone recently oh. asked me that my password was. Very good. And if we go to the end of the conversation, look. One person sent me an email asking what size I used. So we have different reported speech. Do you remember the reported speech? Yes, no, the show. <laughs> All right, everybody, do you remember the reported speech structure? Hmm. Yes. Okay, I hope you do, because we are going to practice reported speech this week. Okay, so be careful. Now, let's see some vocabulary, guys, related to identity theft. We have the first one, fraud. Have you ever heard that word? Yes. So what do you think, guys? I have the vocabulary over here in the meaning. So I want you to match the words with the meaning. What will be the meaning for fraud? A criminal deception intended to result in a in financial or personal gain. Mm, okay. How about you guys? Do you have another idea? Hmm. Do you agree or not? I agree. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So this is what we are going to do. Let's match the terms with the meanings. So please read carefully the definitions. Try to get the key words. If you think that fraud is this one, okay, write the number one. If you think, no, I think that is the first option, okay, write the number one there. If you think, no, I think that is the last one, all right, write the number one, okay? So match, please, the terms with the correct phrase. I will give you three minutes to complete this activity. Go ahead, you have three minutes. And then we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. Go ahead. Perdimos a dos. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Match all the terms with the definitions. Try to understand the keywords. Right, two more minutes.
Uh -huh, everybody, did you finish? Yes. 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 Everybody's ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I will be asking individually and let's see if your answers are correct or not. Um, let's see, let's see. Let me start asking to, 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 to Pamela. Pamela, proud. Can you read the definition, please? Yes, fraud is um, criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. Thank you. Is that correct, everybody? Did you agree with her? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Totally. Pretty good job. Pretty good job. Uh, Pamela, can you pick one of your classmates, please? I'm sorry? Irma. Irma. Okay, Irma. Identity theft. What is that? Um, the fraudulent acquisition and use of a person's private, private identifying information for finance, financial gain. Thank you. So what do you think, guys? Did you agree with her? I agree. Yes? Are you sure? Yes. Totally. All right, let's see. Totally correct. Excellent. Um, Irma, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Nelson. Thank you. Nelson, two-factor authentication. It's, it is an extra layer of security requiring not only a password and username, but also a piece of information on the user, such as a physical token. What do you think, everyone? I agree. I agree. Absolutely. Very good. Totally. Good. Absolutely. Okay, Nelson, pick someone, please. Carlos Mauricio. Thank you, Carlos. Next one, credit report. Um, it is a statement that has information on credit activity and current credit situation. Everybody, do you agree with him? Yes. 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 Very good. Carlos, pick someone, please. Boris. Thank you, Boris. Pin. Pin. Uh, an ident pin is an identity identifying number al allocated to an individual by a bank or, or other organization and used for valid dating electronic transaction. Okay, everybody, is that correct? Yes, yes, I agree. Totally, very good job. And the last one, right? Fraud alert. Volunteer for reading the definition, please. A report filled by a financial institution to signal that someone may have stolen your identity. Very good. So if you see, pretty easy, the vocabulary, right? You are very good at matching everyone. If you see, it is not necessary to understand or translate every single word. The key is to identify those special words that can be related to the correct term. Excellent. Now that we already practice the vocabulary, let's try to practice speaking again. All right. Remember, that's the purpose for intermediate, that you can speak a lot. Um, we are going to work in groups, okay? And I want you guys to imagine that you are a bank representative, okay? Imagine that uh, one of your classmates is your, is your customer, so you have to give tips to your customers. So imagine if I ask you, hello, I'm new, <laughs> right? I want to take one of your credit cards. You convince me, but I don't know how to use my credit card. Uh, I don't know if I need to, I could you give me some recommendations about the things that I can or the things that I cannot do, all right? So the idea guys is that you can give tips to your customers about how to protect their personal information, okay? Give 
tips to prevent identity theft or the illegal use of their credit card, okay? I want you to present as many details as possible. For example, imagine that we have the team number one. In the team number one, you have to tell me what is the name of the bank. Okay, teacher, we are, a, you can use a name that already exists or you can invent, okay? In this case, this is, um, Give me a name of a bank, please. Illegal bank. Illegal bank. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's advertisement. Well, you can try. I mean, why not? Oh, well, you can pick the name that you prefer. For example, illegal <laughs> bank, <laughs> uh, Nelson's bank. I don't know, the ones that you prefer. And you can say, okay, we are team number one. We are the illegal bank. We are going to give you some tips to protect your personal information. Tip number one, okay? So you, ta, 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 ta. tip number two, ta, 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 ta. is it clear? Yes? Yes. It's clear. At the end, we are going to see, and we are going to decide which bank is um, informing better to their customers at the end of the class, everybody, you have to decide which bank do you feel um, safer, <laughs> okay? So you have to, I, I like a illegal bank. They made me feel very safe, right? Ah, I like a Nelson's bank and they gave me very good tips. Oh, for me. <laughs> at the end, Everybody is going to decide which bank gave better tips. Got it? Yes? Got it. Minimum, Got it. guys, as always, at least five two. tips. Ah, come on, two tips. No, five. If you want to give me more, do it. Okay? But I'm asking at least five is it clear the activity yes. okay yes important please and this is always that i mentioned all the time guys everybody copy the information if you want to pres to write it in a powerpoint presentation i mean it's all right but i know that some of you are from the cell phone and you cannot do it but what I need you guys is to everybody write it on your notebooks. Because sometimes I ask, okay, what did your classmate say? I don't remember, teacher. <laughs> okay. So the idea is that everybody in the group can tell the information. Understood, everyone? Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Any questions before going to the breakup rooms? No? Nothing. Okay, remember, no Spanish, please, full English. Again, at the end of the class, I mean, at the end of all the presentations, everybody will decide which bank offered better tips. Um, I just have a question for everyone. I can see some people said that they are listeners. So is there anyone that is just... I mean, I want to know if the listeners are able to participate because I know I that can, sometimes... I can try as I can, teacher. You can try? Yes? Yes. Excellent. That's the attitude. Yes, because I don't want to include listeners, guys, if you are not going to participate. So thank you for the ones that will. Give me a second. Let me just start creating the groups, okay? One moment. Remember, you have to think about some tips. Use your imagination. I want to listen to better, very good tips. If somebody is listener and I didn't add you guys and you want to participate, 
tell me and I can add you to a team. Is everybody ready? Yes? Yes. All right. I already sent the instructions on WhatsApp's group. But again, guys, you can write the tips in your notebooks. Let's go to work. Carlos. Hello, Andrea. Hello. Okay. okay, so um we have to um think about some uh tips and well well I think uh we have to decide uh the band no uh, name. So, what do you guys uh, think? Okay. Uh, would you like bank or customers? <laughs> you have to pick a bank. It's a, it's a bank. Uh -huh. Imagine the name of a bank. You can use a bank that already exists, like, I don't know, uh, Scotiabank Bank or Bank of, uh, Cuscatlan Bank, or you can invent a invent. name. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Carlos, uh, um, you bank, uh, you are bank, and me customer, okay? Okay, uh, listen. The idea is no, it's a it's a fight. It's a fight. We have to uh think about a uh, bank name. In this case, it's not a role play, like to have a conversation. No, it's a work team. Uh, yes. All of you work. are like the same bank. All of you work for the same bank. You are the bank representative, and you need to create tips to provide the tips to your customers. But right now, it's not a role play, okay? C Carlos. Okay. Yeah. Carlos, for example, the number one is a, is a email alert, the oh, protection, okay. the credit card. We have to decide the, the bank names, right? Yeah. yeah, for example, in my case, I have a, Alert from identity or uh, illegal use uh, of the credit cards. Never, never provide, never provide the the car car verification call. Never provide the car verification. Do call. you mean the the call? The, Código, uh, the number is ah, the, no, the, uh, the three the three numbers. The three numbers, yes. Um, that that's uh that's a good one. Um, Wilbur, do do you want to share uh, with us a tip? Uh, don't connect to strange Wi-Fi. Don't connect to public Wi-Fi. I right. think you refer. Okay, don't, don't, don't public. I heard uh, what you say the with the Chivo wallet, Kevin. Oh, the Chivo wallet, yes. Yeah, that happened uh, with my family also. I had a, a brother, uh, he is in the USA mm, and, not the USA uh, yeah. He's doing and when he wanted to share the the uh, I don't know when when he wanted to start uh, to sign in the platform 
with mm -hmm. my brother, with my mother, sorry. Uh, she said she couldn't because uh, it was a uh, uh, it was resist registered already registered oh yes it just happened uh, i have no i don't have uh, so much money in whichever wallet i have it because uh it helps me when my when my uh daughter and my wife go to the chivo wallet chivo hospital Mm, yeah, you have uh -huh. to pay with bitcoins. Yeah, uh huh. So uh, sometimes uh, I receive some message from from Chivo Wallis uh, say writing me say and sometimes it says uh, that I had a, a problem with the system and I had to link and I had to click the link they shared me, but I never do it because. Uh, I don't trust in that. So they send you a link that you have to put your information, uh, like it, it was the login account, login page of the Shiba wallet, something that, like that. Right, but it's not necessary that you have to uh, to 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 put your information, it's only necessary that you click on the link and that's your soul, that's all. So I don't trust in that messages. You yeah. have to be careful. Yes, of course. Um, a friend of mine um, uh, is a psychologist. So she do um, therapies uh, online therapies and one once uh, some customer tries other oh, one could be do not do not share your pin with anyone other oh, is keep an eye on your car uh, do not use personal information in your pin number like uh your birth date and the others that we said a few minutes ago activate your second step security like token and activate email alert 24 7. Okay. another good thing is like the to step out authentication is called it mfa it's like multi-factor authentication um, you can use an email, cell phone, or call, and something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, another thing could be use a uh, controlled balance credit card. Like you can set a specific Limit. amount for the credit card and, mm -hmm. and live in a series, maybe. You need to purchase some of for ten dollars. You only set eleven dollars for your credit card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, this other one good. Pamela, you give us ones. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe like to 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 verify the um, to verify the um, the identity when you use some uh, websites or apps when you put your your credit credit card information. But but. Uh, when you said uh, verify the, the identity, uh, what what we have to do? Sometimes they they um, in some some apps they um, ask for your in this case in this case ID or or DUI. Ah, for your ID, okay. Mm -hmm. 
to to verify like when you when you shop or when you use when you use your credit card some some ex, a example can be this platform um when you use your credit information um in the app of Airbnb mm -hmm. they ask for your identity to verify so maybe use this type of apps that um that asks for that information okay or use secure or, or the tip can be use um apps with with a high level of of security okay other one carlos uh, maybe uh, and you nelson <laughs> uh, nelson you get me what i'm trying to 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 say uh, as i mentioned before uh, when you you could uh, get stolen your information not only uh, but the credit card maybe you got an account in facebook and someone had the data from your profile and makes a known profile with your name with your pictures what what can we do in that case i think the only way to to solve that problem is reporting that profile to the platform maybe uh, the profile can get banned for for stalling your identity that would be my my tip report to the platform for this scenario yeah is 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 the correct way to because i don't think in another way to to pretend to 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 avoid that kind it's of a, scenarios yeah it's dependent uh, of the platform really because uh, if the platform does doesn't have a, a a way to report measures for sec uh, for make the 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 security for all of the accounts uh, to keep uh, safe uh, all of your members uh, only I guess only the the best way is report but uh, for this scenario of the bank if you we are the bank right, mm -hmm. right? and yes. uh, no the customer go for uh, for me uh, come for, for me sorry and 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 he says uh, Nelson how can how can I do to uh, improve my security or of my account or for my credit card is other scenario okay you you say uh, to customer okay you need to uh, set a strong password for your account you need to apply uh, um, extra layer of security you need to bring a telephone, for example, uh, bring your uh, telephone uh, in the app, in the app to configure for when you try to do um, I don't know, a purchase, for example, uh, some platform or the same app needs to go to confirm if i if you are do 
doing the purchase. The platform uh, uh, deliver an email or a mes message for with a code, and you put the code to confirm the the purchase. Uh, and then verify and then verify the then identity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, and then the last one. How many tips do you have? ID number. Uh, we have 10 tips. Wow, that's efficiency. I liked it. Okay, I will check another group and then we are going to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. I have another important It was so strange. Uh -huh, oh. Guys, how many tips do you have? Um, like five, six. six. Oh yeah, six. Six, great, yeah. excellent. I will check just one more team, and we are going to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. So, Wilbur, okay. do you mean that? Um, that. Okay, guys. How many tips do you have? A few. How hmm. many? Ten. Two. Only two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but we don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room, okay? Thank you. Okay. All right, let's go back. Okay. Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room, everyone. All right, all right. Time's up, time's up. Okay, let's wait. All right, how was the practice? Was it easy to think about the tips? Yes? No? A little bit? And honestly, yes. Ah, very good. And you guys, was it easy or difficult? Uh huh. Mm, okay, I hope that it was easy. Did everybody participate in your group, everyone? Yes, they did. Yes, good. Did your classmate um spoke? I mean, did your classmate speak in Spanish? No, they didn't. All right, full English. All right. Well, everybody, let's start. So imagine, okay, that we are your customers, okay? We want to get a credit card. We want to spend a lot of money, okay? And everybody, you just have to decide which bank it's better for you. So let's see which bank makes you feel safer. Let's pay attention to each bank because you have to listen um, which banks provide the best tips. At the end of the presentations, we are going to pick our favorite bank and let's see which bank gets more points, okay? But before checking uh, the presentations, everybody, I'm going to check attendance one more time. So you know what to do when I listen, when you listen to your names, say present. Amanda Zamora Miranda. Present. Thank you. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. All right. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Good. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Um, Elias Neftali Martínez. Eulice Torres Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. 
All right. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present. All right. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Very good. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Mm, let's see, let's see. Maria Jose Siguenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Right. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present. Very good. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna. Okay. Ricardo. Present. Okay. Very good. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Very good. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Okay. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Okay, let's start, guys. Let's share tips. We are going to listen to the bank number one. In the team number one, it was Andrea, Boris, Salvador, Kevin Alexander, and Wilber. So guys, what is the name of your bank? Chapin Bank. <laughs> oh, really? Chapin Bank? Yes. Yes. Okay. Chapin <laughs> Bank. So everybody pay a lot of attention. Okay, guys, tell us please the tips in order that we can have our information protected and we can prevent some illegal use of our credit cards. Go ahead. Mm, the so first start. one, uh, don't connect to the public Wi-Fi. Okay, okay. Who else? Members don't, in the group can tell me one tip. Uh huh. Don't click uh, to a strange message to avoid, uh, okay. If you receive a message, you uh -huh. you have to avoid to click on the link they share with you. Ah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Uh-huh. Um yeah. set uh like email alerts or SMS alert for every transaction. Sounds good. Sounds good. Body? Never never provide the the car verification code. Uh -huh. The three number security. All right. Okay. Anything else? Another tip? Um, avoid. Remember that the bank will never ask for your PIN. Okay. Anything else? Chapin Bank? <laughs> avoid sharing personal information mm -hmm. on social media. Sounds good. That's important, guys. Uh huh. Anything else? If you have a credit debit, uh, you say you have to secure, uh, to, to warrant it. Also. Okay. Cool. For free. Guarantee for free. Well, <laughs> it was good, but <laughs> nothing is for free. So Chapin Bank is not going to give you the, the guarantee for free, know. right? Keep on mind. <laughs> you have to pay the insurance. You have to pay the insurance. But is <laughs> is it is it expensive in your bank? Um it's um cheaper than other banks. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, well, let's see, let's see. Do you have any other tip? Bank? Chapin Bank? No? Only that. No, That's pretty good. Seems that. All right, very good. Thank you, Bank. So I like it because all of the members of the team uh, were given tips. So that is something that I want from the rest of the teams, okay? Every member can give a different tip. Excellent, I like it. Okay, let's move on to the team number two. Team number two, it was Carlos Ernesto, Carlos Mauricio, Pamela, and Cifrido. Guys, what is the name of your bank? Pamela's bank. Oh, all right. <laughs> she has a lot of money, you see? 
<laughs> He's the owner. Yes. Oh, a lot of money. name. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, guys, give us tips. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, for example, the first tips, maybe uh, email alert of the any transaction 24 hours. Mm, okay, sounds good. So guys, Change. don't put don't put your your cell phone in vibration, right? <laughs> what else? Use a secure password. You can use capital letters, vocals, numbers, uh, lower letters, and a lot of special characters. Cool. Yes, a password difficult to to memorize. <laughs> Yes, like the one I sent a minute ago in the chat. Okay. So check the chat, guys. He is going to send us an example of a very safe password. Okay. If you can yes. remember the password, it's a secure password. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, that's an example, guys. That is not Cifrido's password, okay? That is just an example, but I like it. Pretty long, okay. <laughs> better use an MD5, Cifrido. Um, <laughs> it's like a piece of uh, one no song, and I have my personal script to decode the password. So. Ah, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, uh, Pamela? Uh, another tip is to change your PIN uh, every two months or regularly. Sounds good. Sounds good. Mm, well, uh, activate your two-step security like token. Okay. That's good. That's good. Other tips, um, the credit card or debit card are of uh, the use personal and of transferable what do you mean um the key information the way confidential ah definitely that's a good one mm -hmm. set a limit in your credit card okay so when you imagine that my limit is five hundred dollars if i have about a purchase over that Am I going to receive an alert? Mm -hmm. And the bank too. And the bank too, yes. Got yes. it. Yeah, that's a good option. I like that tip. What else? Maybe uh, for the live transaction online, uh, it's important to use the personal computer. Only my personal computer? Yeah. And personal devices. Good. Yeah, hey, you know what? That that's good. Uh huh. What else? Um, don't use personal information in your pin number, like like beer date or ah. your party, something like that. Okay, like personal dates. Mm -hmm. right? That is pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? Mm -hmm. Pamela's bank. Mm -hmm. Do you have more tips? For sure. Uh, control the credit limit of your debit or credit cards. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Don't share the pin with anyone. Not even with your family members? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not safe for you. <laughs> not even with your wife or husband? No, no, no. If they want to, if they want to uh, have uh, access to the money, they have to... Uh, take a different credit or debit card. <laughs> it's right. better do the purchases online and they can uh, take the, <laughs> uh -huh. the product, no? Sounds good. So don't trust to anyone. That's the rule. Okay, what else? Don't, don't use the public Wi-Fi. Sounds good, definitely. So look at this one, Pamela's bank. You have a lot of Tip for us. <laughs> we have more. Do you have more? Continue, please. Inform us. Uh, yeah, we have another one. That is uh, to verify your identity 
when you use uh, some websites or apps when you purchase online. So you can verify your identity and the and in the page where you are going to to shop to have a uh, another level of security when you when you do your your purchase. Oh, this is like what Google does, right? When you yes. open your email address in another device that is not the ones that you use frequently and yes, automatically you receive. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The alert. Hey, that sounds good. I like that. Uh huh. And we have other keep an eye on your credit or debit card. All the time. Sounds good. Uh huh. That's all. Uh, I think yes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna change your gone. personal ID documents. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Like your site, like uh, if you're doing an appointment for some doctor, if you are looking for a flight or you are looking for an hotel, then I'll share any ID document. Ah, very good. That is important. All right. I like it. Thank you, Pamela's Bank. Very good. Uh, a lot of tips. I like it. Okay. Well, it's time for listening the next bank, team number three. In the team number three, I have a uh, Carlos Dominguez, Nelson Alberto, Oscar, Alexis, and Osman Enrique. What is the name of your bank, guys? Uh-huh. Your name, your your bank's name? Pulgarcito. Pulgarcito Bank. <laughs> okay, that's curious. Pulgarcito yeah. Bank. Okay, sounds good. So, guys, tell me what are some tips? Uh, this same opinion, same opinion that classmate teacher. We never, we never share the the user or password with the other person. Mm -hmm. Not even because... with your couple, with your wife, nothing. Uh... For your sec, for your security, uh, depend, depend, it depend. Okay. But there uh, is is a uh, is not recommend because uh, maybe somebody can use your information um, to to do buys, uh, by many things. Okay. Online, online, or in a store. So everyone with nobody, okay. What else? Also, also I think uh, we never uh, we never use uh, for password uh, easy words. Okay. Many many people use uh, bureau day words like bureau day, uh, they may, uh, may married uh, bureau days some spirit days. Uh, children's name right children's name is not recommend we exactly. we had to use extraneous word extraneous okay english <laughs> okay <laughs> that's what all uh-huh okay what else and so go ahead set a multi-factor authentication for the account like a uh, message text app uh, talking Okay. Uh, apply a strong password with at least 12 characters. Don't trust in any website. Mm -hmm. uh, change the default ping of the car. Save your password in a secure place or use a tool for that. Okay. Don't store password in other computers or, or the cell phone or paper into the wallet. And be careful with your own device. Uh, don't share your password. Mm -hmm. And the last, uh, use only secure connections and secure sites to purchase. Good, definitely. So look at this one, guys. Honestly, those tips are very interesting and important. And sometimes we don't do that. We don't follow those tips. Pulgarcitos Banks, do you have another tip? Mm, me no are now the others the other representatives 
No? Okay. Well, thank you. Very good, everybody. You did a great job. I like when you work in teams. I love it. You're doing great. But now it's time to decide which bank makes you feel safer, okay? This is what we are going to do, everybody. I'm going to send the link right now here in the chat, okay? And you just have to pick your favorite bank. Um, you have to write your full name, of course, and you cannot vote for yourself. I can see the name. So, for example, Nelson cannot vote for Pulgarcito's bank. He had to vote for someone Why? Else. Because it's yourself. I mean, the idea is that you had to pick someone else. Okay? So, we have Chaping Bank, Pamela's, and Pulgarcito's bank. So, everybody, go and vote for the bank that you consider provided the best tips for you. Okay, but you cannot vote for yourself. Okay, go ahead. You have Got one it. one minute to go and vote. Go ahead. You have one minute. I sent the link here in the chat. And if you want, well, let me send it on WhatsApp's group too. I already sent it on WhatsApp's group too. Open up the link, write your full name and choose your favorite bank. I can see four people already answer. Well, five people, okay. You have one minute and we are going to see which bank made you feel safer. Go ahead, go ahead, go and vote. Okay. 30 seconds, go and vote, 30 seconds. I can see 13 people already answer, very good. All right, all right, 15 people already answer, 10 seconds. All right, all right, and time's up. Okay, guys, you cannot continue voting. Look at this one, look at the winners. Let me share the results with you. Da -da -da -da. Look at this. It was a tie between Chapin and Pulgarcito with the 20% and the 60% it was for Pamela's Bank, so congratulations, Pamela's Bank. You provided a lot of tips that made the customers feel confident. Good job, very nice, excellent, excellent. So if you see guys, it's pretty good when you can give tips, right? And the most important is to follow those tips, okay? Um, it's better to prevent, right? Better safe than sorry. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Do you have any questions about the tips? No questions? All right, before leaving, as always, we have a winner and the winner for tonight is Oscar Alexis. Oscar, are you there, right? Yes. Excellent, so everybody, you are free to go to sleep. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Take care. I see you, see tomorrow. you tomorrow. Thank you, man. Good night. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Goodbye. See you. Good night, everyone. Take care. Only Oscar stays. Good night. Good night. Okay, hello Oscar, how are you? Hello teacher, I'm fine. I think I'm fine. <laughs> how was your weekend? Uh, it was okay. Uh, a little bit tired. I mm -hmm. went to I went to the Mercado Central to buy a pair of boats and when I was there <laughs> the the rain started. <gasps> oh my so, god. <laughs> it started raining. 
and I had to go high somewhere oh, to protect and... me for the rainy. <laughs> and what I... about the umbrella? You didn't have an umbrella? No, I didn't have. Oh. I go in a in a dead end. I I enter to a dead end uh -huh. and I fall asleep a few minutes <laughs> <laughs> just to end the just to wait uh, rain ends. Okay. Oh my goodness. But um you didn't get sick, right? No, no, no. I didn't even uh, I didn't even got wet. <laughs> ah, okay. Lucky you. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So on uh, this little meeting, Oscar, it just to clarify some questions that you may have about the topics that we have been studying or about the platform or about the course in general or any comment that you want to share. So this is your moment. Do you have any question or comments? No, with the with the class, no, maybe with the platform. Okay. Which the platform it has a lot of errors. I know, I know. Um, I already uh, reported it, and I know that there are some answers that has to be like very specific, right? And for example, as I mentioned, only one point can make the difference, right? No, no, not even in that. Um, it's not only that. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes I'm, well, uh, today mm -hmm. I wanted to to try some some I wanted to try to do some homework. Okay. And um I'm stuck in the in the 2.5 homework because even the 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 multi option is like wrong. Because yes, in that that's true. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Actually one of your classmates was sharing that issue with me and that is true unfortunately that is something that I cannot modify it I cannot modify the platform but I already reported it um so yeah I do apologize with it um let me share the screen right now mm -hmm. uh, do, 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 do. this is the exercise right Look. Yes, yes, that, mm -hmm. that's the one. Yes, actually, uh, one of your classmates told me that even the answers, this one, the multiple options mm -hmm. was incorrect. And yes, I already reported it. So I'm still waiting for uh, the technicians to fix it. So yeah, I know that there are some issues, but try to complete it. And when you have some exercises that you, I mean, that try and try it again and you yes. never get the correct answer take yes. the screenshot and send it to me and i will help you with the answers okay okay e, i need it to share it in the group or just with you personal um you can share it in the group if you want uh, so if your classmate already have the answers they can help you okay, oh, okay. okay. and because sometimes i'm working and i cannot answer like immediately Right. Okay. So if your classmates are there and they already finished, they can help you with that. So, okay. mm -hmm. yeah, you can nice. send it there and we can uh, share the answers together. OK. Uh -huh. OK. No problem. Pretty good. OK. I don't know if you have any other questions or comments. No, in this moment, no. Pretty good. OK. So the feedback that I have for you, Oscar, actually is very positive. I can okay. see that you are in the class and you always try to participate. That's great. <laughs> Even when you don't feel identified, because as you said, right, uh, you don't shop online, you don't feel so identified with the topic, but even though you try to participate, so that is something positive. I like it and I hope that you can continue like that. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. And well, I was about to do the observation about the platform because I can see that you haven't finished the unit number two and you haven't taken the midterm exam. So okay. um, try to take the midterm exam as soon as possible, please. Because mm -hmm. um, let's see, Wednesday, basically we are starting the unit number three. So the unit number two has to be done. Okay. Okay, teacher. Pretty no good, problem. excellent. All right. I will try. Excellent, do it. If Again, if you have some questions, take the screenshot and send it in the chat so I will help you with the answers, okay? Okay. Pretty good. 
Okay, now, uh, I'm sorry, Oscar, we are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for staying. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Bye-bye. See you.